In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can open up any file, folder, or website easily on the Linux command line. And this software is installed on all major Linux distros, so you don't need to install anything. And we're going to use xdg open. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. We are in a folder called example documents. And if we look at the files and folders, we have a random folder, which is a folder. We have a PDF file, a spreadsheet and a PNG file. So if I want to open up the random folder, I can do xdg hyphen open and then random folder. And it's going to go ahead and open up the GUI and we're in the random folder. And you can see we have a document in here called website.html. Now, if I want to open up the current folder, I can do the same thing, but instead of specifying the folder name, I can just put a period and it opens up the current folder. If I want to open up, for example, this spreadsheet, I can do XDG open and then spreadsheet and it's going to use LibreOffice to open up this spreadsheet. It's going to use whatever the default application is. So let me show you what that means. So if I open up this image right here, it's going to use the default image viewer because I have set my images to open up by default with image viewer. However, you can easily change that. For example, in my settings, I can control the default application for photos. So if I change this to GIMP, for example, and now we go back and we open up this photo one more time, it's going to use GIMP instead. So that's what I mean by opening up with the default application. And one other thing I want to show you is you can also open up websites. So if I do xdg hyphen open and then my website, for example, host.promo, you need to specify HTTP or HTTPS, otherwise it will not work. You can see it goes ahead and opens up with Firefox because Firefox is my default browser. And so that, my friends, is how you open up any file, folder, or website directly on the command line. And this will work on all major Linux distributions. However, very few Linux users in my experience even know about this command, and I think it's one of the most helpful commands out there. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.